Bob, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show Facts and Trivia. Um, today's get the old glasses on. Today's episode is Mayberry Goes Hollywood. Uh, before we get started, I ask you to please subscribe. Uh, we're going up slowly but surely, having a lot of people viewing, but we're going really slow on the subscriptions. So. But I do appreciate you being here. Don't think I don't. I really do appreciate it. Um, let's get into it. Uh, first one is Aunt B admits to Mr. Harmon, the producer, uh, that she likes Rock Hudson. In reality, Francis Bavier starred in the 1952 film Bend of the River with Rock Hudson and Jimmy Stewart. This I did not know. Um, this episode marks Howard McNear's first appearance as Floyd the Barber. Floyd had been played in previous episode by Walter Baldwin. Uh, from this episode on, McNear would play the character for the rest of the series. Thank you, God. He was awesome. In my opinion, probably at least in the top two funniest in on the show. Um... The uh, town oak tree in this story was a temporary prop brought in especially for this one production. It was placed in the street between the building used for Walker's drugstore and the church, and it was never seen again. Uh, the fate befell the town horse trough used in The Darlings Are Coming, a uh, place in an approximately, approximately the same location. Um... In this episode, Barty tells the story of a friend who went to Hollywood, took a tour bus of celebrity homes, and stood on Gary Cooper's grass and got yelled at by the maid. And, and then in season six, episode eight, Taylor's in Hollywood. This exact scenario takes place, except it's Andy and Aunt B getting yelled at by um, Cesar Romero's um, maid. The solidarity picture on the wall in the mayor's office is of opera composer, help me, Giuseppe Verde. On opposite wall, hang four pictures of U.S. presidents, Chester Arthur, James Buchanan, Andrew Johnson, and William McKinley, respectively. This is the first episode giving Floyd the barber's last name. Instead of Lawson, which is the name he used throughout the season, throughout the uh, series, the name Colby appears on Floyd's shop window. Uh, the movie director also addresses him as Mr. Colby. Uh, this episode marks the second appearance of Mayor Pike, played by Dick Elliott, the first being in the episode titled The Manhunt. Andy Griffith often uses uniquely southern expressions in episodes. In season one's episode, this one, uh, Mayberry Goes Hollywood, he describes Barney as a bird in this world. The expression means the person is remarkably unique. Calling downstairs to Andy, Aunt B says, Be down in a minute, Andy. Home kind of early, aren't you? Uh, while almost all the characters in the series, especially Andy and Opie, say ain't constantly, this may be the only instance where Aunt B used the word, um, since this is the only 13th episode of 175 that she appeared in. Presumably her character and careful use of grammar was still being formed. Mm. When the movie company car comes into town to start shooting the film, the marquee, uh, the town movie theater is plainly visible in the background. It says Mayberry Theater instead of the more often seen Grand Theater. Uh, this episode is the second of three episodes that Orville Monroe is in. Uh, this funeral parlor and mortuary would later become the grocery store ran by various characters such as Art Crowley and Charles Foley and Mr. Noakes. And that's all I have uh, for today. I chose a little bit more than we usually have. Uh, appreciate you being here. Don't forget to subscribe, please. Uh, 
share these out. Let, let your people uh, in your life that love Andy uh, have a look, see. And uh, don't forget to check out the trivia question on the Facebook page. Appreciate you being here. Uh, God bless. And we'll see you next time.